My name is Jenny Marshall and I will be taking you through the volunteer fundraiser online induction for Mid and East Antrim Age Well Partnership. So as part of this induction, um, by the end of it, we have a few learning outcomes. We hope that you will know a bit more about AgeWell and understand what AgeWell provide to support older people. Uh, the role of the fundraiser. So we hope you'll be able to describe the role of the fundraising volunteer within AgeWell. We hope you'll be able to recall good practices in fundraising and what is appropriate. And we hope you'll be able to recognise what support is in place for volunteers at AgeWell. So who are AgeWell? Mid and East Antrim AgeWell Partnership are an older people's charity, which was established in 2011 with the idea of helping older people from Mid and East Antrim become better physically, better emotionally and better connected. As an organisation, our vision is that Mid and East Antrim is a place where everyone can actively age well together, being involved, heard and valued. Our mission is to support individuals and communities to actively age well through partnership working, as we believe that everyone deserves a good quality of life. Our values at age well are listening, caring and sharing, honesty and openness, challenging and influencing, connecting and transforming. In our most recent strategic plan at Agewell, we agreed that our strategic pillars and what we would work towards would be the following. We agreed that we wanted to deliver innovative solutions for a healthier and more connected society. We agreed that we wanted to ensure the voice of older people is heard in community and health policy development. We agreed that we wanted to reconnect older people by strengthening and developing local community groups and partnerships. We agreed that we also wanted to support the well-being and skills development of our staff team and to deliver strong governance and back office services to all our stakeholders. So how do we do that? We do that through a number of mechanisms, one being individual support. So you'll see we have our Impact Age Well service, our Connect North link worker, our counselling service, financial wellbeing and our Creases for Carers ironing service. We also support older people with personal security. We fit nuisance call bloggers to prevent scam calls, as well as sending out a weekly scam savvy text alert service, which highlights scams that are in circulation. We also support provide support with home safety. We have a handy person service who can fit key safes and carry out small home repairs for things like grab rails. We can also make referrals to the fire service for fire safety checks and also to the police for crime prevention support. Befriending is something else that we value greatly at Edgewell. We work very closely and refer to our colleagues in the Good Morning Telephone Befriending teams. And we also deliver our very own Building Flourishing Friendships, which is a face-to-face -face befriending service for isolated older people. Our community support provides advice and guidance to local older people's groups, along with training and mentoring, as well as capacity building. Throughout the year, we also release a number of publications, including twice per year our Aging Well magazine, as well as our annual calendar, and various other pieces of health and well-being literature. We also support older people through social connections. 
including our safe social club, regular Edgewell members events and signposting to local groups that are already out there working on the ground. Volunteering in Northern Ireland. So just a couple of things I want to point out. 28% of the Northern Ireland adult population volunteered during the financial year 2019-2020. And the top five most prevalent benefits of volunteering, people cited were, it makes me feel better about myself, helps me make a positive contribution to society. I had fun, I made new friends, and I learned new skills or developed existing skills. At Agewell, we believe there is a role for everybody when it comes to volunteering. And the role we're going to talk about today is the role of the volunteer fundraiser. So at Agewell, as with any other charity, bringing in funds is a very important piece of our work. And the role of the volunteer fundraiser within our community will help us to do that in order to support older people to be better physically, better emotionally and better connected. As a charity, fundraising plays an important part in our work. As a volunteer fundraiser, you will help us raise vital funds, which will ensure that local older people can access the support and help that they need. So what will be involved? As a volunteer fundraiser with Edgewell, you will help to plan and deliver events and activities which will raise funds and awareness of our work. These could include bucket collections, sponsored activities, book, cake sales and coffee mornings. You will help the staff team with event administration or you could give talks and presentations on the work of Edgewell. And it's also always very important to us as an organisation that we thank our supporters and donors and you as a volunteer will be part of that. As a volunteer fundraiser, what you won't be expected to do will be to apply for funding or grants or to meet specific fundraising targets or engage in door-to-door -door or cold call fundraising. Time commitment. Ideally, as a volunteer fundraiser, we would like you to commit to a minimum of once per month for a period of at least one year. So what opportunities are there for fundraising? Well, we hope that you as a volunteer fundraiser will support us at large public events with street collections, small events or door collections or activities in the community, such as fireside quizzes. Fundraising practices. As part of our work at Edgewell, we adhere to the guidance from the Fundraising Regulator and the Charity Commission for Northern Ireland. For the purpose of this induction, we're going to look a bit closer at the Code of Fundraising Practice, which is put in place by the Fundraising Regulator. The Code of Fundraising Practice sets the standards that apply to fundraising carried out by all charitable institutions and third-party fundraisers in the UK. It replaces the previous code, rule books and legal appendices. The code aims to promote a consistent high standard of fundraising, make sure charitable institutions, their governing bodies and fundraisers know what is expected of them. Set out the standards we use when considering complaints. Provide a benchmark for organisations and fundraisers to assess their practices against so they can identify necessary training and monitor and set policy priorities for their fundraising. Develop a culture of honesty, openness and respect between fundraisers and the public. 
So the fundraising regulator has four core values and that they support all the standards in the code. Legal. All fundraising must meet the requirements of the law. Open. Fundraisers must be open with the public about their processes and must be willing to explain, where appropriate, if they are asked for more information. Honest. Fundraisers must act with integrity and must not mislead the public about the cause they are fundraising for or the way a donation will be used. Respectful. Fundraisers must demonstrate respect whenever they have contact with any member of the public. And to read the full code, you should visit www.fundraisingregulator.org.uk. So today we want to look a bit closer to the part of the code that lends itself to the types of fundraising that you will be doing with Edgewell. So behaviour when collecting money or other property. While fundraising, you must not act in any way that might reasonably cause members of the public to be or become startled or anxious. Act dishonestly or manipulatively or deliberately try to make a potential donor feel guilty or act in any other way that a reasonable person might consider would damage the charitable institution's reputation. This includes smoking or drinking alcohol while wearing clothing that contains a charitable institution's branding taking or being under the influence of illegal drugs, lewd or aggressive behaviour, including swearing, while wearing clothing that contains a charitable institution's branding. Putting undue pressure on members of the public to donate. Exploiting your position for personal gain, for example, asking for a job, or asking someone for a date, or asking for a discount on goods or services or any other behaviour that harms the reputation of the fundraising profession or the charitable institution you are representing. You must avoid causing an obstruction, congestion and nuisance to the public. You must not deliberately block the path of members of the public. You must treat the locations you are working at or visiting with respect. You must not suggest to any member of the public that the conversation you are attempting to start is not about money or that you are not fundraising. When asking for a regular gift, you must not suggest to any member of the public that it is without commitment. Unless this is authorised under an agreement with a private site, you must not approach members of the public who are Seat it, unless the seating is part of a charitable institution's promotional stand, or in queues, unless the queue is directly related to the fundraising activity. You must not knowingly approach people who are carrying out official duties, such as uniformed officials, while they are on duty, or people who are clearly working. You must not obstruct interfere with or disrespect members of staff from local businesses. So to support you on your journey as a volunteer with Edgewell, you will have the support of the staff team and your main contacts from Edgewell are Charlene Greer, who is our finance and admin assistant, and Jenny Marshall, who is the executive director of community programmes. You can contact any of the staff team at any stage to ask questions or for further advice. So what can you expect as a volunteer fundraiser? To carry out your fundraising work, Edgewell will provide all information required, including dates, times and details of the event. An identification lanyard collection buckets, 
information leaflets, and promotional materials. You can also expect to be reimbursed for your travel to and from your place of volunteering. Volunteer expense forms are available from the Agewell office. So at Agewell, we have a volunteer policy, and this is to support our volunteers through the best volunteering journey as possible. The aim of the policy. The aim of this policy is to clarify the broad principles regarding volunteer involvement with Edgewell. It has been developed for our volunteers and anyone else concerned with the recruitment, support, development and management of potential or existing volunteers. Values, principles and responsibilities of Edgewell. Edgewell recognises that volunteers constitute an essential part of our team, with a distinct but complementary role to that of our paid staff. As volunteering is a two-way process, Edgewell is committed to meeting the needs of all our volunteers. The volunteer role is a gift relationship, binding only an honour, trust and understanding. Edgewell encourages volunteers to develop and build on existing skills and knowledge through sharing good practice and training. Recruitment. Edgewell would like to recruit volunteers from a diverse range of backgrounds that reflect the makeup of our local community. As such, we will adhere to our equal opportunities policy when recruiting volunteers. Information for potential volunteers is made available at the Edgewell website, fairs, events and through local volunteer organisations as appropriate. Potential volunteers will be asked to complete an interest form available on our website or in paper format at our offices and any of our events. Every effort will be made to match a volunteer's knowledge, skills and experience to the projects available. As a volunteer, you can expect that you will be recognised and appreciated, provided with all the information, equipment, resources and guidance required for you to carry out your role. Encouraged to develop your skills and knowledge covered by the Edgewell insurance policy, protected by the Edgewell health and safety policy, contributing to a non-discriminatory and diverse organisation, supported by the Edgewell staff team who will help you resolve any difficulties. And you're free to stop volunteering at any time. Induction. The Edgewell staff team are responsible for the induction of new volunteers to Edgewell. Edgewell staff will be on hand to answer any questions or queries they may have. Training and development. Edgewell is committed to the ongoing training and development of our volunteers. With that in mind, volunteers can talk with staff about courses that will provide further training and development relevant to their role. Support. Edgewell staff will hold a brief and debrief at the beginning and end of all tasks. They will offer full support to all volunteers and regular meetings will be arranged to discuss any issues or problems that may arise. Health and safety. Edgewell has a duty of care to all volunteers and we will take all reasonable steps to protect their health and safety while participating in any of our tasks or activities. Health and safety information and emergency procedures will be covered during the induction process. We have qualified first aiders on our staff and any accidents involving volunteers will be recorded on our incident form. Insurance. All volunteers are covered by Edgewell's Employers Liability Insurance whilst actively engaged with an Edgewell task or activity. 
data protection. Personal information recorded about volunteers will be stored and maintained with appropriate safeguards for confidentiality, complying with data protection legislation. So some essential information for fundraising volunteers. Complaints. We have a complaints procedure to ensure that we capture all feedback. If you wish to make a complaint or if you receive a complaint from someone about your service or anything to do with our work, please pass the information on to your named worker. We hope that the majority of complaints can be resolved informally by speaking directly to the person or persons involved. We encourage people to be open and honest about any concerns they may have and to give us the opportunity to put it right if we can. Donations. Our charity wouldn't exist without support from the general public. If you are given a donation outside of the fundraising event you are volunteering at, please contact the AgeWell team to ensure it is dealt with correctly. Equality and diversity. Mid and East Antrim AgeWell Partnership is committed to being a diverse and inclusive charity. We aim to demonstrate support for all of our volunteers, valuing each individual's contribution, regardless of age, gender, gender identity, sexual orientation, marital status, civil partnership status, disability, nationality, race, religion or belief. We are committed to providing equal opportunities to our volunteers and to taking steps to ensure our volunteers are protected from discrimination. Volunteer expenses. We reimburse our volunteers for any reasonable out-of-pocket expenses incurred, such as travel up to an agreed amount as noted on our volunteer expenses claim form. The AgeWell team can give you more details and show you how to make a claim. Expenses are reimbursed once a valid expense claim form is completed and payment is made via BAX on the 28th of each month. Please ensure your expenses claims are completed and authorised by the 15th of the following month. Gifts. Please don't exchange gifts with service users unless it's a small token such as chocolates or flowers. Exchanging gifts can sometimes appear as favouritism and may raise expectations unintentionally. If a service user wishes to thank you, suggest they forward a donation to the charity instead. ID badge. Every volunteer is provided with a photo ID badge. Please make sure this is always worn when you are volunteering. You must inform the AgeWell team if your badge is lost or damaged. This badge must be returned to AgeWell if you leave us. And finally, leaving Mid and East Antrim AgeWell partnership. We know volunteers will not stay with us indefinitely and no one should feel under pressure to stay. We want all our volunteers to have a positive experience from start to finish. If you would like a break from volunteering or feel it's time to move on, please have a chat with your supervisor who will explain what happens next. If your circumstances change, don't feel you have to leave. Talk to your contact in the AgeWell team about your needs and we might be able to arrange for you to have a break from volunteering for a while. We will be happy to welcome you back when you're ready. Media. As a volunteer, you are representing Mid and East Antrim AgeWell Partnership. Getting the right message across can be tricky. If you are approached by a member of the media for any reason, please refer them to the AgeWell team who will ensure they speak to the right person. Non-smoking policy. Our non-smoking policy states that smoking is prohibited at all our centres 
and when staff and volunteers are involved with Mid and East Antrim AHL partnerships activities in the homes of service users. Motor vehicles. If you are required to use your vehicle during your volunteering, you must inform your insurance company. Most insurance companies agree to cover this at no extra charge. Please contact the AHL team for further guidance. Data protection. In your role, you may have access to personal information on our service users, other volunteers and staff. You must only use this data when necessary and dispose of it securely when you are finished using it. We have strict guidelines to follow best practices with GDPR legislation to ensure all the data we hold is secure and only available to those who need it. Role description. There is a role description in your pack. This will give you a good idea of what your role involves. Please read it carefully so you understand the different tasks it describes. It's essential that you keep your role description because the support and training we provide relates to your role. Safeguarding. We think that safeguarding is everyone's business. Mid and East Antrim Edgewell Partnership is committed to supporting the right of adults at risk to be protected from abuse and to make sure all staff and volunteers work together and act promptly when dealing with allegations or suspicions of abuse. We have a robust safeguarding policy and train staff to help us protect at-risk adults. If you have suspicions that someone is at risk of being abused, in the first instance, you must speak to the Edgewell team. A copy of the Edgewell safeguarding policy is available from the Edgewell office. Timekeeping. We depend on our volunteers' help, so it's really important that we know we can rely on your support when it's needed. Please try to keep to the commitments you make. If you can't make your shift or slot, let the Edgewell team know as soon as possible, so cover can be found. If you're unavailable to make several shifts, then we may have a chat with you to make sure you're still able to volunteer with us. Whistleblowing. Mid and East Antrim Edgewell Partnership is committed to high standards of openness, probity and accountability. In line with that commitment, we encourage employees and volunteers who have serious concerns about any aspect of the charity or its work to come forward and voice those concerns. As a first step, please raise your concern with the Edgewell team. Following this, if you feel your concern has not been addressed, contact myself, Jenny Marshall, Executive Director for Community Programmes. Thank you for joining with us today for the induction for the fundraising volunteer at Edgewell. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch and we will do our best to answer them. And once again, Thank you so much for choosing to volunteer with Edgewell. Together, we can help support older people in Mid and East Antrim to be better physically, better emotionally and better connected. <laughs>